It's just like that. Just up ahead is another place to see and be seen in Rockford Hills, the Richmond Hotel. An iconic entertainment industry hangout, sleazy producer types have been promising to make young girl stars here for over a hundred years now. Not gonna lie, I did some shameful things in that lobby bar in my youth, but I've put that period of my life behind me now. I was a member of the jury in the 1991 movie Last Will and Testament. They, they cut my line. I'm learning things today. I just can't get used to that smell around here. Not a nice bunch, these LS settlers. What's up? Is everyone having fun? I really don't need this. Oh, yeah. Here you can see the landmark. Weasel Theater, which was opened here in Morningwood in 1930. Some of the biggest movies in history have premiered at this theater, including Blue Blood, Shoulder of Orion, and The Many Wives of Alfredo Smith. You might remember the controversial premiere of the gladiator comedy Lions and Donkeys in 1984, when star Chip Hampton walked up the red carpet with two slaves in chains. I could use a rest. Gotta take a picture of that right there. Hey man, what's up? Whatever that is. God damn thing. Count yourselves lucky my prescription just got renewed this morning. <laughs> gentlemen is the famous Richards Majestic Studios. The product placement for classics like Nelson and Naples and Rum Runner and the not so classics like Vinewood Zombie and Shoulder of Orion 2 was shoehorned into the final edits right behind those very gates. Everyone has a favorite Solomon Richards movie. An American divorce really helped me through a difficult time when I was bankrupting my first husband. Oh, come on. Don't people in the Midwest watch movies? You must have seen Defender of the Faith. No? Wow. Tough crowd. Just up ahead on the right is where Delancey Medua's septum fell out after a ketamine party. I don't see what all the fuss is about. I feel like I've been living in the dark, not knowing a lot of things about the city. and beautiful, that makes them better than us. I want to see proof that the guide isn't lying.
come here all my life. It's just not that exciting, is it? Keep those cameras out and fingers on the trigger. Celebs are skinny and fast. It's like real history going on right here. I just can't get used to that smell around here. this town were not nice people. To the left, you'll see a spot where a pizza boy claims that Play P.G. Jackson asked him to remove his shorts. It's like I'm dreaming or something. stores in the country. And now, some fun trivia for you. There have been a number of movies shot on Portola Drive, mostly awful ones about rich idiots, including the blockbuster 2005 romantic comedy, Shoe Whore. It's credited with sending women's rights back 50 years. The store we're passing now is where British star Charlotte Crown was caught on film in the changing room, eating and purging the same burrito over and over again, <laughs> just like a dog. of road from those videos of Jill von Krastenberg with the Romanian shot put team. It's just like that other thing we saw. Wow, I'd never noticed that thing before. This is the Epsilon Center. Anyone with red hair, please cover it for your own safety. If you really want to meet a famous celebrity, this place is packed full of them. Take an introductory course. It, it changed my life. Kiss love! And I always thought the city was kind of a dump. Listen, uh, can I stop by? I, I need to borrow some downers. Hey, it's not my fault. I can't help thinking we should have stayed at home. You owe me. I'm going to have the digital moon pegs for the rest. Please refrain from taking photos of ethnic minorities. They could be gang members. Not a nice bunch, these hellless settlers. I'm 
so crunk, I can feel my pants. Just not that exciting, is it? The next corner is where actor Scott Stevens famously prolapsed after a failed party trick. Fuck you, Pupito. What the fuck? Shit, I'm learning things today. I just can't get used to that smell around here. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? God, I think the guy is making this stuff up. Remember when Laszlo was arrested for masturbating with an eggplant and shouting at women? That happened right here. where the mayor's office is, if any of you care. You might recognize this building from the 20-minute final dogfight to save Earth in the movie Invasion Los Santos. Why the fuck? What the hell is that? I gotta ask somebody later. Take a picture of that right there. Whatever that is. You fucking twat. I could use a rest. That's pretty cool. opening night in 1928 as desperate fans tried to get upskirt shots of the legendary silent movie star Miriam Turner, much like you're doing today, except with really heavy cameras. My daughter tells me it isn't politically correct to say oriental anymore, but considering some of the other common terms for Asians in the 1920s, the name could have been a lot worse. There's a saying that to go to Los Santos and not see the Oriental Theater is like going to China and not visiting a burger shop. Yeah, I've never really understood what that means, but... Enjoy the rest of your vacation. <laughs>